A lot of you guys were asking about my heart rate monitor last time, so I wanted to make this video to just really, really quickly give you guys a breakdown on the type of heart rate monitor that I got, and also just really briefly um, go over what it does for me and why I decided to get it. Um, when I work out at the gym, blah, sorry, when I work out at the gym, I like to use the um, the equipment that has the heart rate monitors on it. So like you put your hands over um, like the elliptical trainer, for example, you put them over the handles and you work out and then it, you know, um, detects your heart rate and then it tells you an estimate of how much it thinks that you're um, burning or how many calories it thinks you're burning. Um, and I love that because it gives me a better idea of how many calories I'm burning since I do like to keep track of the, the amount of calories that go into my body. Um, I also like to keep an accurate count of what goes out of my body, which is, the, you know, the workouts. And um, I always wanted a heart rate monitor, but they're very expensive. I mean, they're like, I don't know, you can get them for like $100, $200. And I know that people that are like really hardcore into training will spend that amount of money on themselves because, well, you know, it's what they do. Um, so I did, a, I did a little bit of research and I found out that they do have cheaper ones um, that don't do as much as the more advanced ones do. And not only that, but I found out that the one that I got um, was available used and refurbished on eBay. So I did end up buying it on, on eBay, and the reason is because I wanted to keep track of my calories. And um, I ended up buying this model, which is the Polar. Um, this is the FT60G1, and um, this one comes with an armband and a GPS, which I don't use because I use Nike Plus, which is an app on my iPhone. But if I ever wanted to just use this and not carry my iPhone around, then this would be beneficial. But I don't see why I wouldn't want to carry my iPhone. Maybe if I were to do like a... You know what? Actually, this is going to come in handy when I do... I'm going to do a... Possibly do a 5K this year. And it's going to be in... One of them is going to be... A portion of it is going to be in the water. So I'm not sure yet. I don't like to plan ahead months, months, months in, in advance because you never know with... with you know having a little kid but this one has a GPS and it keeps track of your distance and also your speed so like I said I haven't used it yet because I'm using my iPhone I'm using the Nike Plus app so if you have like two dollars you want to spend on a Nike Plus app on your iPhone you can use that so this strap is actually called the wear link and it has these two areas here which are called the electrodes and before you start your workout or before you even set up your um, heart rate monitor, you have to literally run this through tap water. So let the water run under it, make sure it gets all nice and wet. And then you go ahead and put this connector back on. You know, it has like these little um, areas where you can attach it to. And then what you do, hold on, I put it on upside down, is... Um, with the logo part sticking out, of course, you're going to strap this right under your um, your bra like so. So you're going to wear this under your clothes so it's not all like huge and bulky like this. But you wear this under your clothes, under your bra. It's actually touching your skin. And this is what detects your heart rate. Now, I have worn this to the gym and people have approached me and asked me what kind of heart rate monitor I'm wearing because they see the armband which is this one right here um, but they don't they don't see my you know the band that goes around my chest because it like you seriously you can't see it it's like really really tight this thing is pretty flat you can see here so it's not like bulky and then last it comes with this thing which you guys saw last time it goes around my wrist like so and then it has this display where you can see the time. I mean, it comes with so many features. I'll show you guys this better because I think you guys can see it. But it counts, um, it counts your heart rate or it detects your heart rate and tells you what number um, or where your heart rate is. It also detects the um, number of calories that you've burned. And then it detects um, the zone that you're in. 
So like for example, it says training time in the zone and and your heart rate. So and then it says smiley face means that the own zone determination was successful. If your heart rate is not within the zones, not in the zone is displayed. So you want to be in the zone while you're working out, otherwise you're kind of wasting your time. And then it has the um, weak target and it has through the GPS, it detects the speed and also the distance, but I don't use that. The only thing I'm using it for is for the calories. Um, the next thing you can do is you can also um, check the time of day. And right here it says lock a zone. So it says depending on your goal for a training session, you can lock zone one, two, or three during the session. Uh, sorry, I can't read sideways. It's kind of weird. Um, when you're training in a desired zone, lock it by pressing OK for one second. For instance, when you have achieved your weekly target for zones 2 and 3, you can lock zone 1. The zone alarm helps you stay inside the locked zone. For example, zone 2 is locked in this image. And that means that if you go out of zone 2, then it'll give you a, like a little beep and tell you, you, you know, you need to get back to zone 2, for example. So, um... It's so funny because I actually wore this. We went to Jump and Jammin' again today, which is like a um, an indoor playground. If you haven't seen my video on how we're me and my um, toddler are playing, it's just an indoor playground. It has three stories, and it has like you climb all the way to the top, and then you go down on the slide. And I worked out there for about an hour, and I burned like 300 and something calories doing that and it was awesome because I was able to detect it with this. I also use this for when I go for walks. I use it when I do my um, Jillian Michaels DVDs which you guys saw last time. Um, I burned around an average of 200 calories with the ab workout um, DVD and I also have noticed that I burn way more calories doing circuit training than I do on the elliptical and I also burn my calories a lot faster when I do circuit training than when I'm on the elliptical machine because before I used to get on the elliptical for like an hour and on the machine it actually told me that I would burn like I don't know maybe five or six hundred calories and with the um, heart rate monitor I'm burning about 300 calories for every 20 minutes that I do of circuit training so that means that if I were to do 20 minutes, stop for 5 minutes, do another 20 minutes, stop for 5 minutes, and then do another 20 minutes for a total of an hour, I would burn almost a thousand calories. So it's pretty awesome. It takes down your stats, so it kind of knows like if you're female, male, how much you weigh. Um, so it, the estimate is pretty close as far as like the calories and all the other information. Um, there's more to this, but I really, I don't want to read this to you guys because it's, it's really boring <laughs> but it gives you like feedback once you're done it gives you feedback which is awesome um, I know that I've kind of started to learn about what it means and it tells me that I'm improving um, let me see what other features I can share with you guys the, all this other stuff is kind of boring I don't really wanna oh it does record your weight so you can input that I mean, it's just pretty awesome to have. I don't really go into all of these details, but I mean, you can if you want. I just, like I said, I'm using it for the sake of counting my calories, and I'm really happy with it. Um, I can't remember the price that I paid for it. I think it was 60 Was it 60 Probably. But like I said, I got it refurbished. Um, and if you're not familiar with that word, what it means is that somebody owned it before. I don't know how long they owned it for, but for some reason it stopped functioning for them. Um, and what they did is they either sent it back to the manufacturer or they sent it to a company that does refurbishing. And what that means is they take it apart, they fix the problem, and then they resell it to um, to buyers as kind of almost new or good as new. So it's a risk there's a chance that it may not work for me as long as it would have if I would have bought it new. But I figured, you know, I'll take that risk and not really spend that much on myself. I can't see myself spending $200 or even $100 for a heart rate monitor. But yeah, um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. If you guys have any other questions, I mean, this is what it looks like. That's it lit up. Um...
there's my data or the information for my previous workouts. There's my training files. And then you can see, like, let's see, I burned 410 calories. So um, you can also go into the week summaries or the totals since I started. Um, let's see what else. You can change the settings, applications, training programs. Oh, these are the applications that come with it. So you can do a fitness test and you can do a weight diary. You can do a training program. You can create a new one or not. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, I mean, I think that some of you guys out there might be like major pros with this type of stuff. Maybe you've had a few of them and you know a lot more than I do. This is my first one that I've ever had. Um, what can I say about it? Well, I like it. I mean, um, the first one that I got in the mail that came from this particular person that I bought this from um, didn't work for me. And I, I kept reading the instructions telling me to wet this part here. So I was like lightly dabbing it with like water. I think that's what where I messed up. I should have really soaked it like the way it says. And there's actually a diagram where it actually like tells you to soak it underwater. Um, here it is right here. It has a diagram for how to put it on your chest too. But you can see it right there. There's like a little tap water. You see it? It's kind of blurry. And then it tells you how to put it on under your boobies. That guy's got like four boobies. But yeah, I put them under here, and then that's when it starts detecting it. So I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I don't need this part, so maybe if you want to buy one and you have that app on your iPhone, maybe you don't want this. Maybe you do. Maybe you would prefer to have something light like this on your arm as opposed to carrying your iPhone around while you're running or whatever. Maybe you'd like to count your calories while you're swimming, so then you could use something like this. So yeah, um, that's about all I can tell you guys about my GPS. I'm so sorry if this was boring, but people were asking, and I'm like, okay, well, let me make a vlog about it. So take care, guys.